Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a highly requested and long-awaited breastfeeding experience video. But on top of that, I'm actually collaborating this video with one of my really, really good friends here on YouTube. Her name is Erin. She is Mrs. Erin Kate here on YouTube and I am in love with her channel. We have been chatting on Instagram for months now. I am obsessed with everything about her. She has the cutest little girl. Her name is Perry Kate. I mean, come on. She's like the cutest little redheaded girl I've ever seen. And I just love all of her videos. She does a bunch of videos similar to mine and she's super frugal like myself. So she's very budget friendly and just very realistic, I feel like. And so I really, really enjoy her videos. She has a very talented husband who makes the cutest wooden things <laughs> for toddlers like he made a bed for her like one of those cute like house beds he also made like this cool tp bed i mean it's pretty incredible so you should check out his etsy shop i'm gonna have that linked in the description box as well but also check out erin's channel because we collaborated on this video so she will be sharing her breastfeeding experience as well so you should check out her channel watch that video and subscribe to her and if you're from erin's channel hi my name is dana i have a cute little girl named zara she is a year old i'm obsessed with her like most moms with their babies and I make mommy baby lifestyle beauty videos here on my channel and I would love for you to stick around so if you like this type of video you should definitely subscribe to my channel I make a bunch of videos like that but without further ado let's just go ahead and get started okay I just realized that my dishwasher was just running throughout that whole thing my apologies I turned that off but I want to just go ahead and get started with this video. I'm talking about my breastfeeding experience. I have notes right here. Let's just put this out there. I am so grateful that I was able to breastfeed my child. I, it was something that was very important to me and I'm grateful to not only have been able to do it, but also do it until she's a year. I am still nursing my daughter and I'm just really grateful I could do it. On the flip side though, breastfeeding was one of the hardest things I've ever done. <laughs> like it was so hard and we're gonna get into like the nitty gritty, the details, the difficulties, but also the special moments that I was able to have with my daughter. And yeah, so let's just do this. So first off, before Zara was even born, I knew I wanted to breastfeed her and or at least try I was open to both formula feeding and breastfeeding I kind of wanted to do both I didn't take any classes on nursing before I had my child or any classes for that matter I went into it kind of blindly I mean I watched a ton of YouTube videos that was kind of like my classes and I just learned from other moms and grabbed as much information as I could from other YouTubers. And, but besides that, I went in super naively. So my goal before Zara was born though, was to breastfeed her for six months. Soon after she was born, I, she latched great. I remember that being really easy, but I quickly changed my goal because of how painful it was. Now they always say like the first few weeks hurt a flipping ton and I just didn't realize, obviously no one really realizes what that pain is gonna be like until you are in it. And I was like, holy crap, I don't know if I can do this. And those first few days in the hospital were really really hard. I actually was only in the hospital for about two days and then I was released, but those were very long few days. I am grateful for all the nurses that helped me, but they were not very helpful at the same time. So like I said, nursing hurt so, so badly. Like I just couldn't even handle the pain. Her latch was great. It was 
a deep latch. The nurses said like, oh, she's doing great. Like it was nothing on Zara's issue. It was my own issue. Like that for some reason I was super sensitive. I remember one nurse asking me if I had cold feet and hands and I do have cold feet like all the time. My husband hates it. And I was like, yes, I do. And she was like, oh, for some reason, there's like a weird correlation with women who have really cold feet and hands that for them, their like nipples are more sensitive, which is kind of weird. And I was like, oh, I've never heard of that in my life. So I don't know if that's true or not to each their own. I don't know, but it was super painful for me. Nursing was excruciating. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna pump. And it was weird. Like I remember feeling like in the hospital, they weren't really supportive of me pumping. They didn't really want me to, but I just couldn't take the pain. And so I just did it. So whenever like the nurses were out of there, I just pumped and I just used the supplies that they had given me. And I was just using the pump that was at the hospital. It was just like a Medela hospital grade pump. So I'm like pumping colostrum awful there's like no colostrum that comes out of you which now that I am through my first year of nursing and being a first-time mom I now know like it's really not that big of a deal because babies don't need that much milk they literally have like a tummy that's like this big and so they don't need a ton of milk so that amount of colostrum was perfect for her and she would be full for a few hours now I did try in the hospital using nipple shields and that did help. It was still pretty painful. So I just was going on and off of using a nipple shield and pumping Zara. She took to both pretty easily. She was happy and she was fed. But even then, like, nursing was a struggle for me. With my insurance at the time, a lactation consultant was going to be coming to my home a few days later after I had, re had gotten home and was released from the hospital and just to check on Zara and me and nursing and things like that. So actually, I think it was a nurse rather than a lactation consultant. They were both. Anyway, she came by and I was still like pumping, trying to nurse, but more so pumping. And she came over and I remember she like laid me a certain way and she just all of a sudden she like put Zara on and for some reason, that like did the trick. Like I was like, I could do this. Like I could do this on my own. I was using a nipple shield at the time and did for a little while, but she was like, if it's working, just go with it. Doesn't matter. Just go with it. I was like, okay. Now, breastfeeding is so hard. I don't know how many times I could say that because what I didn't realize going into it was how often your baby has to eat. I, that is what threw me for such a big loop. Like it would, it is every two hours and it's not like two hours, like, oh, they're done nursing. Now, two hours later, I get to feed them. It was, if I start at noon and she's, and she's done at 1240, we'll just say, she's ready to eat at two o'clock. Like it's just a two hours from start, from when you start is when you have to nurse them again. And that just was super overwhelming for me. I like just couldn't, I couldn't handle it to be honest. I was just like, I can't do this. And I remember in the hospital when I was pumping and nursing and pumping and nursing or whatever, I just had a mental breakdown. I was like, I cannot feed my child again. I cannot do this one more time. It's painful. I don't like this. This is uncomfortable. And I just can't. I just remember just feeling so, so, so overwhelmed and looking at my baby and just being like, I don't want to feed you. I don't want to feed you. And as a mom, you feel like super guilty. Like, why do I feel this way? I do feel that it is very normal to look at your kid and be like, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. Like my life just went, turned upside down. I don't know what I'm doing. The nurses aren't helping me. People are telling me I'm gonna have like a partial supply and it's not supply and demand what breastfeeding is. I blah, 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 and I'm like, I can't do this. I can't do it. And I remember giving her a little bit of formula in the hospital for like one feeding. 
she ended up just throwing it all up because we gave her too much those were some really stressful times I try to just like block them from my memory because for me being in the hospital was just like not fun I had fantastic nurses I had two favorites their names were Carly and Caitlin I loved them to pieces I loved my doctor they were amazing but the lactation consultants I was not a real fan of felt like they didn't really help me and just put a lot of stress on me and the fact that they all have like their own opinions just really I couldn't take it I just couldn't take it anyways like I said though a couple days after I'd come home from the hospital this other nurse lactation consultant came over and for some reason we connected and she because of her is why I was able to breastfeed my daughter just being able to for some reason she was able to explain to me in a way that I could understand how to put Zara onto me and for it to not hurt don't know what it was still don't know it to this day but I'm grateful for her so I used nipple shields for about probably th three months yeah three months because I wanted to get her off of it because if you haven't used a nipple shield before they're great it is the only reason also why I was able to breastfeed at first but they're really messy like you put them on and milk squirts everywhere I feel like it makes more milk come out and it's just it is a mess and you have to wash them Ugh, it just was such a big pain for me so I knew eventually I wanted to wean her off of a nipple shield and I should have gone to a lactation consultant, but I had just moved here to Austin, Texas, which is where my husband and I live now. My daughter was born in Colorado. He got a new job and now we are here. We moved when she was six weeks old. I don't recommend moving with a newborn. It is not fun. But anyways, we had moved here and I was like, you know, it's been about a month here and I'm just done with these nipple shields. We're going to just try it. So I like would do like a bait and switch type of thing and just did everything I could. It was quite the nightmare to be honest because I didn't know what the heck I was doing and Zara was confused because she's used to sucking on this like plastic nipple and now to like go from plastic to an actual nipple and it just was confusing to her. Also to add to that, I have, this is TMI, but I have like a flat, nipple and, and an inverted nipple so they're two different ones I don't know if like that's weird to say but that kind of makes breastfeeding a little bit more difficult for a baby to like latch onto so I had to like just move things around and it just it was kind of complicated to be honest and with that she definitely wasn't getting as much milk as she was with a nipple shield and so I ended up getting mastitis guys it hit me like a ton of bricks it was awful i remember the day as if it were yesterday it was labor day weekend it was friday it was thursday it was thursday right before labor day weekend and i had taken zara to the botanical gardens and we were just hanging out it was really hot outside and i nursed her at the botanical gardens and then afterwards, I was meeting my husband at this restaurant to meet his coworkers because he had just started like a month prior and I want, like, he wanted me to meet them. So I get there. On my way to the restaurant, I all of a sudden just feel so sick, like flu. I'm like, I feel really like woozy and my boob was hurting and I was just like, oh, like whatever. This is really weird. It'll go away. Yeah, it didn't it like got way worse really quick and i had a super high fever i was in a lot of pain and just felt awful i felt so awful uh, so i take an ibuprofen i called my dad actually and was like i don't know what to do like we have insurance but i we didn't have like i didn't have a doctor here or anything so i didn't know who to go see Long story short, I end up going to urgent care. I am miserable in urgent care. I decided I didn't take ibuprofen before I went because I wanted them to see that I had a fever because I knew, 
I knew I had mastitis. I just knew that I did. And I get there, they're like, oh, yeah, so you think you have mastitis? I was like, no, 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 no. I know I do. I know I do. Because when you know, you know. Like, it just is so awful. Take my temperature. I have, like, a temperature of, like, 103. And my boob, it was my left one, is just so sore, hot to the touch. I was miserable and I just looked like hell basically. And so then the doctor like prescribes an antibiotic. I get like an antibiotic shot in my butt. It was pretty rough, but I started to feel a little bit better and I just nursed constantly all day and all night because that's what you have to do to keep your supply up and whatever. Speaking of supply, I was a nervous wreck until about Zara was 10 months old about my supply. You know, when Zara was born, I didn't really have much anxiety about much, like really about anything. It just was kind of like, oh yeah, like I could do this. This is great. Besides my milk supply and nursing, it just the nursing thing in general. And I just was so anxious. It was so irrational, but inside I just felt like I had this anxiety that if I didn't nurse her X amount of times a day for X amount of a period of time, I would wake up and my supply would be gone, just gone. And now looking back, like I know that's not how it works. <laughs> I it's not how it works but in the moment like that is how I felt and it was really scary for me like I would freak out and be so stressed out about it like it was on my mind all day all night long clearly I probably had some like postpartum anxiety like it was very all-consuming and I just wasn't functioning very well because of it now this went on for her first 10 months of life like I'm talking all the time I just couldn't handle it and I couldn't handle leaving her ever because I'm like oh, I have to nurse her like I just couldn't do it and it made things really rough and I really do think that is why breastfeeding was so difficult for me was because I just was an anxiety ridden mess like such a mess and I'm gonna get into like other things as well like when Zara turned like three or four months old, she was very distracted. So she'd be like on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. And she'd have these like spells of just like screaming while breastfeeding, just screaming. And she'd like rip off and just scream. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like what is wrong? Like I'm trying to stay calm, I'm trying to stay calm. And now looking back on that, really like she was probably screaming because she could sense how stressed out I was. I had a perfect supply, like my supply was totally fine. I was taking supplements that I probably did not need to take. I did take fenugreek and blessed thistle, just a little capsule, I would take a couple of them. And I ate super healthy, I was just putting my body, like giving everything my body needed. I just was, I was going crazy, I literally was going crazy. and. So many people told me like, oh, just give her a bottle. Like it's really not the end of the world. But for me, like it was, and it wasn't like it had, there was this like social pressure or anything like that. But for me, I just, it meant a lot to me and I wanted to hit my goal. Which my initial goal before Zara was born was six months. I don't know if I mentioned this, but when she was born, I was like, my goal is six weeks now. I just can't, this is too hard. I hit six weeks and I was like, you know, I think I could do another six weeks. So I go another six weeks, so Zara is now three months old. And I was like, you know, I can do six months. And then I hit six months, I was like, you know, I'm not ready to stop yet, even though like it's still really hard. Like I was having a very difficult time just with Zara being distracted, which she was a very distracted baby. Like I could not nurse her anywhere besides either on in our bed or in her rocking chair in her room which is pretty inconvenient because you know I have a life so I just 
oh, like always had to be home. Like we go to church on Sundays. I could not nurse her there unless there was no one else in the room. Like she wants to be chatting and being with other people. And you know what? It's still the same. Like she can't nurse with other people in the room. Not even Tyler, like no one. It, it's kind of the worst to be honest. And for a while, it was very lonely for me. I'm like, I don't like nursing you. Like, this is not fun. Like, I have to be stuck in a room by myself with you, screaming on, off, on, off, on, off. And I'm just alone. Like, I was really lonely for a while and it was rough. But I did see that slowly it started to become easier. And... I remember we went to Colorado this past end of April, end of April, yes, and so I guess, yeah, Zara was 10 months old, and for some reason, like, while we were there, I just chilled out. We were with Tyler's family, and so I was really busy, but I remember just, like, she always was with someone else, and for some reason, like, I don't know if Zara it like clicked for her or it was just kind of like this is my special time with mom and so I like want it and it seriously she made a 180 I am like if anything that trip was well worth it just for that because I feel and felt like I got my life back like breastfeeding became an enjoyable experience i mean obviously there are still like the difficulties of breastfeeding like an almost one year old it's still not like a walk in the park type of thing but it just became way easier it became a time where it was like actually bonding like i was actually like looking forward to it i was like oh this is my time that i get to have with my baby and love on her and kiss her and just be with her and it has been so different ever since and I kid you not you guys now when she Zara turned one I was like you know what I've hit a year I went above and beyond my goal and I'm ready to be done I think just physically mentally and emotionally I'm ready to be done but now I can't get Zara off of me <laughs> I can't get her off of me like she does not want anything else she wants mama, pulls at my shirt, and you're just like, oh my gosh. So it's just funny, like, I went 10 months of her just, like, resisting and whatever to now finally, like, she just, she that's all she wants. She just wants me. It's just very sweet, and I, I'm very grateful that finally a, a turn came around because really the last, I guess now three months, have been really nice i do enjoy it now it's not like this dreaded time during the day i'm like oh, i have to feed you again like i don't want to i think something else that really has helped was that i'm not nursing her as often during the day at that time it was only like four or five times a day and it just was so much easier than six or eight or ten or twelve times a day like that is where i just couldn't handle it so many times and for so long now it's just like four times a day five six seven minutes total and she's good she's good for four hours it's wonderful so i'll talk a little bit about weaning her so now i just nurse her morning and night and i can do that easily morning one i am not ready to give up that one that one's my favorite one and i think it's zara's favorite as well like she wakes up, she's so happy, and I'm happy to see her, and we just love that nursing session. The evening one, it's like 50-50. Sometimes I love it, other times it's like, girlfriend, I'm ready for you to go to bed. You're done. And she just gets really distracted because typically Tyler is home and she wants to hang out with Tyler. It just can kind of be like a little bit of a mess. And then I give her six ounces of whole milk twice during the afternoon. I'm not super pressed on like you have to drink it all type of thing. So that's why I give her two so she can have as much or as little as she wants. Which is also probably why her evening, like, evening nursing session is definitely shorter because she's 
full on milk. Like she doesn't need anything else. Zara doesn't like straight whole milk, which I'm trying to work on. She has to have something blended into it, which is just kind of a pain, but it's really not the end of the world. I don't blame her for not liking the taste of milk. I don't really, it's okay. So I really don't stress about it, but she has two sippy cups worth of that during the day. And I just nurse her morning and night still. And I feel great. I really feel great. I love our situation that we have. I am content with it. And I really have relaxed so, so much. Now I don't know if that has to do with like, okay, I've had a year and I just don't care as much. But I've also listened to a number of podcasts and other women's YouTube videos on their breastfeeding experience and tips and tricks and stuff. And it has really helped me a lot. I'm actually gonna leave a link in the description box down below. A podcast that I listened to that seriously changed my perspective on breastfeeding, which I listened to that the same time that Zara made that 180. So I think that also became a part of it too. And they just talked about, for example, was this woman was explaining about her nursing her child, her toddler, and how she was like talking about weaning them and the best way to do it is like going out of town, like whatever. So she had like gone out of town for two days and came back and decided like, you know, I'm not done nursing you yet. And so she like popped the baby back on and just a couple days later, her supply was completely fine. And that just like blew my mind. I'm like, you know what? I just need to relax. My supply is not going to just like poof one day. It's just not, it's just not. So I just need to calm down and I've just been so much better ever since. I'm also gonna link in the description box down below, Erin, another video that Erin has filmed and posted is like her tips and tricks with breastfeeding. I like can't wait to nurse again another baby because I love all of her tips. Like super helpful video. When I watched it, it also just even helped me now and it was so great. So I'm gonna leave that link in the description box down below. I highly recommend watching it as well. All in all, my breastfeeding experience was a trial for me. I am grateful that I was able to have the experience and I'm grateful I was able to nurse my daughter. I'm also grateful for where we're at now and that I'm like done. <laughs> but I'm excited to nurse again another baby. I know every situation is different. I do hope that I can nurse my future children, but I think it's going to be a different experience because I think I will just be so much more relaxed. I think it's going to be better for me. I am feeling very optimistic and very positive towards it. I, I think it'll go a lot better, at least on my end of like the anxiety and stress over breastfeeding. I'm hoping. I was actually talking recently to my husband about this, my epiphany, and he was like, you know, I agree with that. I think a lot of the reason of the problems that I was having was because of my anxiety and my stress. And my husband agreed with me and I was like, I think the next one will be easier. I really do. I mean, of course, so much can happen, yada, 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 but I think it'll be in general easier for me. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This is definitely a long one, I apologize. So hopefully you like, were doing other things while you were listening to me babble. I knew this was gonna be a long video, but I have been dying to share with you guys my breastfeeding experience, but I wanted to wait until I had hit a year, I had started weaning because I wanna mention really quickly because anytime, even throughout this whole time of breastfeeding, the thought of being done like broke my heart. It was a really strange feeling and I don't know if any of you have felt that way, but it really did just like break my heart, just the thought of just being like not nursing my child. And I think that's also part of the reason why I kept going was because I just emotionally, I couldn't do it. It felt like I was being broken up with, just like my heart was being ripped in half. I don't know. It is a weird thing. I am definitely, because of that, I'm very careful with weaning Zara right now because I don't want to like get depressed. So I like how we're doing it just slowly but surely weaning her off. It's working for us. Let's just say that. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh my gosh, it is so long. Please check out Erin's channel and her video that we collabed with, with her breastfeeding experience. With that, please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I would love to have you guys here. Give this video a big ol' thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!